We're going to look at the signs of the end time. Not to keep us frightened. But to get us prepared. And to understand the seasons in which we are, so we live accurately. Hallelujah. In time past, when we talk about the end time, people just resign themselves, just waiting to go to heaven. They don't improve their lives. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't really handle the business of this world the way they need to handle it. That is not a spirit with which we teach these things. Are you listening to me? Would you turn your Bibles with me to the book of Matthew chapter 24? And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, yes, so say one say, Smoo who sang ye may no crime, some say, Ye who a boar bearer say, and that a boar for fossil, ah, and no dear yen to him. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Now, and what shall be the sign of thy coming now, and of the end of the world? Hallelujah. Amen. They've asked a very important question that is going to benefit many generations to come. And many, many times, once you can put yourself these things into proper perspective and locate yourself in God's timing, it helps you maximize your life. It makes you wise. You don't live as if you have come to grab everything in this world. But when you even do ministry, you don't point people to yourself. You become wiser in your approach. Are you getting what I'm talking about? You see, many times when you put yourself into proper perspective based on biblical revelation, you, you look at the way some people are functioning and they claim to be <laughs> men of God and are doing God's work. You look at them and you shake your head. You don't even need revelation to know that they are out of order. When, if you know exactly what the word says. Now listen. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceives you. Yes, because I say one said, Moshe ye na obi anada. So the first sign in this end time thing that Jesus mentioned was deception. It's the associate dika yes to kai and they say, Yen she ye. Deception. And I was him. And it's already happening. It's very easy to be deceived. 
The spirit of deception is already at work. So he said, well, take heed. So when we begin to talk about the end time, this word is very important. Take heed. Take heed. Take heed that no man deceives you. Verse For many shall come in my name. And it's happened. Why do you think there are so many religions? This deception. Muslim believe it's Muhammad. Hmm? Those who have been chanting this Hare Krishna, they are looking at some gurus and some masters. You understand? Yeah. And in the charismatic churches, people have replaced Christ with their senior pastors. I'm serious. And these things are not new things. There used to be a man of God. There used to be a man of God. When you took a picture of him, there was always a halo over his head. The camera will make an impression. You will see that halo. Are you listening to me? Wherever he went, that halo was over his head. When he prophesied, ditto, 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 ditto. The number of people who followed him in his lifetime. He was not educated. So when he even read a word, he didn't really understand it. He needed to be taught himself. But when it comes to the prophetic and seeing and hearing, that's when you can beat him. He tried to teach God's word. He led many people astray. What I'm trying to say that many people who point people and say I'm Christ, some of them are anointed genuinely from heaven. Uh -huh. Genuinely from heaven. But you see, the problem is they will turn people to themselves and to their grace and the anointing that's upon their lives. That is what will make them false. You see, I'm Christ and shall deceive many. And people are so gullible. It is very easy to deceive people. And people are so so gullible. We enter into a little problem and people just deceive us. Because of a little money, somebody deceives you. One accurate prophecy that you're giving, you worship the person for life. People are so gullible. You see, I'm Christ and shall deceive many. You go back, go back there. Don't, don't rush. Huh? Uh, for many shall come in my name saying I'm Christ and shall deceive what? Many. We've been here in Mataheko. Mm -hmm. What we've seen here in Mataiko. There used to be an Odifu Mensa. 
Now you don't even see the church anymore. Yeah. Then there came Amen, Amen. Move the whole Accra and people were coming from everywhere. Serious. If you see the way people, people are just trooping from everywhere. What is happening? What is happening? Spirit of deception. You won't like where you land ultimately if you end up being deceived. You won't like it when you die. You won't like where you land if you allow yourself to be deceived in a lifetime. So many. Not few, but what? Many. Why is Jesus taking time to talk about all these things? Because it's going to happen definitely. Make sure you're not a part of it. Shall we turn to verse 6? And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. When the first world war came, people thought that was going to be the end of the world. It didn't happen. Second world war came. It didn't happen. Thereafter, there have been many wars. He said, be not troubled. When you give me the amplified on this particular verse, 24, Matthew 24, 6, I just want to have. And you will hear of wars. And rumors of wars. See that you are not frightened or troubled, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. Yes. For nation will rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in place after place. They are not pleasant times. Eh? <laughs> they are not pleasant times at all. But the people who live upon the earth should be able to point to these things and understand the times and the seasons in which they are and get themselves ready. Now, I want you to look at this. All this is but the beginning. The early pains of the birth pangs of the intolerable anguish that is coming upon the earth. Now, when you know, I I associate, I oh yeah, a dikai, I wo a wo any ne ya mu any a yes sa a pinisia ya. Won't you me enjoy? They are just the beginning of early pains of the birth pangs of the intolerable anguish that is coming upon the earth. A ya oh ya a bit abano. When you are a sassy or ja, a wire, a war or jamun, I hear a sassy. 
<laughs> then listen. It's going to make it even more difficult to become a Christian and to remain a Christian. So that is when you see people who are genuinely Christians. For they will hand you over to suffer affliction. And tribulation and put you to death and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And your this time people don't even hate you it's difficult to serve God some are already bored with God hello we see those who endure to the end they are the people who become the overcoming so not the people who begin and not end well you get what I mean? I used to do sports, right? You watch 100 meter, 100 meters. Oh, you be na two meter, 100 meters. No, yes, <laughs> get 100 meters, right? Many people begin. You know, some don't finish the race. Some get a muzzle pull along the way. Are you listening to me? They don't finish. It doesn't mean they weren't good enough. So when we are becoming interested, now we are not going to be able to make it. But on the day, they were not really prepared. Now so that no, now we are not serious. We are not here. They were not really prepared. Now we are not serious. We are not here. So you be hated. It will be time. You will suffer affliction, persecution, attack, pain. And you'll be put to death. And will be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Hallelujah. Amen. Hello. Hi. I've been preaching for some time. I've seen many people sit here. Some of them, they were very young when they came in here. Today, they don't serve God anymore. When you talk to them, they will argue with you right now. So you leave them. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah, people come here for all kinds of reasons. So. Some is money they are looking for. Some yeah, is, is for their needs to be met. When those needs are met, they forget the name of Jesus. In the midst of persecution and pain and suffering, whoosh, they are gone. Cry. You won't see their daylight. Oh, oh, oh. But it's going to happen. Verse 10. <laughs> now watch this one. And then many, listen, on, many will be offended. Oh, offense is all around the place. Oh. It's all around the place. Somebody spoke to me, didn't speak to me well. I've left church. 
I went into trouble. Nobody came to visit me. I've stopped church. But the question you ask them is, where you have been employed and where you are working, huh? when you get sick, they don't come and visit you. Do you stop the work? Somebody didn't speak to you well at the, on, the, on, on the job. Did you stop the work? So the means that when it comes to things of God, sometimes we feel we are doing him a favor by coming to church or by serving God. Hey, that's a big deception. Anybody working in that realm is deceived. The simple question I want to ask, what have you been able to give up in order to be able to serve God the way you want to serve God? What opportunities have you been able to turn your back to in order to be able to serve God the way you want to serve God? Then you mean business. For many, when it even comes to give to God, eh, the thing they don't like is what they give to Him. Are you listening to me? Many will be offended. And repelled, and will begin to distrust and desert him whom they ought to trust and obey. Now, now, where you want so people say they prayed and God didn't answer their prayer. And people are giving testimony as to how God answered their prayer. This God cries on, hey, Bejai, Bejai. Hello. Hi. We didn't come to look for magical. We came to serve Christ. Magic. We are not magicians. We are not here for magic. Who is he to you? What does he mean to you? And how have you received him? And will stumble and fall away and betray one another and pursue one another with hatred. Now, we'll be free more. Some sit in church, even at the preaching of God's word, they become offended. They become offended. I preach from behind the pulpit. Mm, somebody, so said, somebody said, it is me, the pastor is preaching, I won't come to church again. Hello. Hi. So they will stumble. Mm -hmm. and fall away now and betray one another and pursue one another with hatred. 
You know, sometimes I meet people who were members of this church for years old. When they see me, they pass me as if they've never known me before. Because now hatred has entered their heart for me. And sometimes I meet people who Look, when we preach love here, if you don't have love and walk, that will not, do not walk in love, you are not a Christian. No. Yeah, serious. Somebody offends you and say, forgive the person and walk in love. You won't forgive. You are cutting yourself off without realizing. Hello. Hi. And I keep saying here, there are people here, you don't talk to them. They are your sworn enemies. If anything bad thing happens to them, you will dance, you will rejoice. Like Sinwa. I, Yaya Sinwa. And <laughs> because the hatred is deep. And I don't know how you can develop a hatred for your fellow Christian and still call yourself a Christian. Where did you learn that? Hello. This thing we are doing is an individual thing. It's not a mass movement, too. It's not a mass movement. Individual. How is your commitment? How have you found Christ? How do you know Christ for yourself? And see this one too. And many false prophets will rise up and deceive and lead many into error. Can I tell you something? Look, many of these false prophets, huh? their prophetic grace is from God, though. It's not an evil spirit. It's from God. The reason why they will end up as false prophets that they are not dead to the self. They are not dead to the self. There's a danger in that one. You see the number of prophets that have emerged uh, because of elections. They're not dead to themselves. Whatever they prophesy does not point people to Christ. It points people to themselves and their gifting. Watch it. Do you know when Samuel was giving revelation about Saul that God said he had washed his hands off him and you know you know, Samuel began to weep. He began to cry. Why was someone crying? I don't ask someone knows who. He was not interested in what he was prophesying definitely coming to pass because he knows this effect on the person. He felt for Saul. No, he felt for him so much. He wished God wouldn't even do that to him. 
na onim se nyo se hon en kom no e benye insun san so wo so so e sile si so se en kom no inti na ayadea nuwe nye en hon atinka inti o nye atinka bia ne yo yapa emma e ya so inti emma ni rewe hoi e nune emma ni sun it shouldn't be eh i said it yes i said it didn't i say it yeah terrible God himself who is saying that about Saul, he's not happy. Let alone you, the human vessel. He's so happy. He has to say that to somebody he has anointed and given a position. He's so happy. He's not even rejoicing at it. Hello. Hi. It's a very powerful gift to prophecy. Prophets. Very powerful grace. And come say, said dear one was so I said you be a to me one pa. But men will corrupt it. Will corrupt the spirit behind prophecy. Will corrupt the spirit of prophecy with itself. True prophets of God are people who are always on their knees. Interceding on behalf of people they are prophesied to. Because they Can I tell you something? When I went to South Africa, I realized that the biggest gatherings were calls and not churches that were born again. And the court, the court leaders are their Christ. If you see how they gather people, shoo. Who said they were to be poor boy, Nipa, don't be a noir. The commitment of the people to the court. Now, Nipa, who from my one year, I must have called some. Sometimes when they hold conventions, they can gather five million to seven million people. Say, Epos, why are you in Shemubia? What to me, poor boy, Nipa, be a pepin, no more pepin song, I know. The offering from those meetings, the banks in those vicinities, they can't take money from any other. They can't open to the public for maybe one week. They have to just take care of all this money coming from these meetings, these five million people who have gathered. The money is they contributed. The banks are busy. They can't take money from anywhere that place. When you see those cultic leaders, the kind of influence they have, the way people worship them in the nation, the politicians and all, and yet they are not candidates for heaven. They are hellish people. Living people are astray. If you see a nation going into doom, trace it to these false prophets. Then 
There was a nation that experienced a civil war. Very peaceful nation. Neighboring nation to Ghana. When I was in Burkina Faso, one very wealthy man got to me and he said, listen, this happened in that nation, because he used to live in that nation, and has a lot, lot of influence in that nation. He said, he, said, he said, because of a man of God in Ghana, I won't mention the name. What he prophesied to that man hardened his heart to the point that he didn't want to abdicate the throne. He was ready to fight to death. Let's watch it. It's serious. <laughs> you see, many people do not even know what this grace is about and what the heart of God is. <laughs> Hello. Hi. In Africa, where everybody is a witch. This grace will deceive many people. As if all the witches created, their location is in Africa. People sit in check, they only see witches. Let's be careful. Though. Did you hear what I said? If you sleep and you didn't hear me, one day you wake up on the wrong side. So what da into one to so far or sit up who be nyane wrong side? And many, not few, many folks will rise up and deceive and lead many into error. Lead many into error. They are signs of the season and the times in which we live. I'm not saying they are not genuine prophets. There are many genuine prophets too. Very many genuine prophets, yes. Say I can say I tried you for a while. I just saw a bright woman. But you see, the Bible says, by their fruits you will know them. The fruits they bear. May when I prophesy to you, you say, I am lying. I will apologize to you. I will. I did that for somebody in this church. And everything I told her, she died. It could have been prevented. She died. Her pride wouldn't allow her to receive what I said. I apologize to you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Just ignore whatever I said, okay? If it's God who spoke it, it will come to pass.
verse 12. Hush. You see, when you read these things, sometimes something happens to you. And the love of the great body of people will grow cold because of the multiplied lawlessness and iniquity. Now I said, do do the love of many people will grow cold because iniquity shall abound sin will so multiply sin will become so attractive sin will become You get what I mean? And when sin becomes attractive, <laughs> the leaders we choose will be a reflection of ourselves. No be so. Yeah. So. Yeah. Multiply lawlessness and iniquity will cause the love of the great body of people to grow cold. Their love for God grows cold. Their love for one another grows cold. The love in marriages grow cold. Because iniquity, lawlessness, sin. But look at this one. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. It shall be saved. will endure to the end. You will hold on to the values of Christianity. You will hold on to his love and walk in love. He shall be saved. <laughs> you see, it's not all bad news, eh? This is another sign that the Bible is showing us. And this good news of the kingdom, the gospel, will be preached throughout the whole world. That's a testimony to all nations. And then will the end come. So everybody will have the opportunity to hear the good news and to decide for Christ or against him. And then the end will come. Father, we give you praise. If it is so, make sure that anybody within your reach hears the gospel from you. So wherever you are, you reach out to people. 
Maybe Pierre will be home or not. Or the Are you listening to me? So very important. No, we don't miss out on this. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn with me to Second Thessalonians chapter two. Thessalonica for my atosumienu, it's a new. But relative to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and our gathering together to meet him, we beg you, brethren. Note to allow your minds to be quickly unsettled or disturbed or kept excited or alarmed, whether it be by some pretended revelation of the Spirit or by word or by letter, I like to be from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has already arrived and is here. Are you listening to me? That's amplified English. They were being deceived that the day of the Lord had already come. Or oh, it was already here. It is past. And we're already here. But I was trying to let them know that it's in the future. So he was preparing their minds. Yes, verse 3. Let no one deceive you or beguile you in any way, for that day will not come except the apostasy comes first. Unless the predicted great falling away of those who have professed to be Christians has come. Are you listening to me? They're falling away. It will not come until there's a falling away. So who is going to fall away? Christians. Can I tell you something? When I see big auditoriums and thousands and thousands gathered, sometimes I don't get excited. Not all of them are genuine. The percentage that are genuine are very little. I'm serious. How I wish that right from behind the pulpit. You give them a message that will decide whether they will continue or they will fall away quickly. Don't deceive people into hope that they are fine when they are not fine. And And so you A lot of Christians, when you put money here and you put Christ, they will choose money. Money is so very easy to fall away. You want them to fall away, just give them money. So, person There was a story I was told. Somebody joined a church that was supposed to be doing well. 
The preacher was preaching the word. And this person who joined the church belonged to a cult. And started paying big tight. When people come and they are putting in coins, he signs a check, one million. And so with time, the church became very dependent on the money that he brings. And then, that person too became very important and very close to the pastor. And with time, the person opened up. He said, I want you to meet somebody I look up to very much. You'll be very interested to meet him. And he was introducing that pastor to his court leader. The pastor has come to love the money and love the influence that the money brought. He can't say no. If he says no, the money won't come again. So like a sheep to the slaughter, he followed this court, court and they took him to the court leader. And they began to talk. If it was it became necessary for that man of God to kneel down for that call he to lay hands on him mm. and impart something to him. That man began to attract crowd. His message is not the same anymore. He has got a lot of money now. He has got a lot of money now. He looks up to that court leader. Hello. Hi. These are end time operations, eh? End time operations. Sometimes you yourself, you don't know how much you love money until such temptations confront you. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. <laughs> so, for that day will not come except the apostasy comes first, unless the falling away comes first. Or those who profess to be Christians have, have fallen away. And the man of lawlessness and sin is revealed who is the son of the doom of perdition. When I would do, I know probably so, yeah, Christopher, just a one, what to talk, and my, yeah, Nippa, and Rana, when you are Russell, Bonnie, I don't know where they know, now or how, Nina, Abba. So, falling away, the revelation of the Antichrist. If a year free moon, now Antichrist, this way, you know, I do. Who opposes and exalts himself so proudly and insolently against and over all that is called God or that is worshipped? Yeah. That is the nature of the Antichrist. Antichrist, no, ni subai enye. 
No, I want you to know sometimes uh, we try to paint the Antichrist as anti Jew. He could be against the Jew, but they say when they say he go to make his this in the temple in Jerusalem, he is not the temple. The temple is talking about it, the church of God. That's why he's going to plant himself. Everything about him is anti Christ. Anti Christ. So even the church of God will be taken over by the spirit of the Antichrist. They will preach the message in word, but their actions and their deeds will be contrary to Christ, will be opposite of what Christ preaches. Are you listening to me? Yeah. That's a spirit. The fruit they bear is the fruit of Christ. They are fruits contrary to the teachings of Christ. So you know what I'm going to tell you? So, so Young people are going to marry. No, don't just hear the name of the church and be excited. Oh, it's a Christian church. Hey, hey. Make sure the person is a Christian. Say, if I call her, yeah, yeah, sorry now, woman, na. I be my say, oh, 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 I sorry now, woman, oh, oh, free move and I am sorry, can see I so far. There be but more than say, nipa na, oh, I call her no, oh, ye Christian. Can I tell you something? See. If I preach to you and I keep pointing to myself, and me, 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 I'm setting the stage for you to be deceived at the end of the day. Because as a spirit, that's the Antichrist. That's what he operates. He doesn't point people to Christ. Everything he does is contrary to Christ. He points people to himself. And what he can do. Let's watch the hero worshiping spirit. You don't encourage it in the, in the church of God. Yes, some are Hello. Hi. That's how sometimes all these churches that promote denominationalism as if they are the only, they are the only church. All other churches don't matter. Watch their, their doctrine. Watch the way they function. Yes, this I is the spirit of Christ. I went to the church. Dividing the body of Christ. Why you are sorry so? What they were man depending on you say? What sorry in the choir and they are sorry? What sorry in the choir? Why you near Christ or Peno? And no swear you are me and you and share. Just the same time, you don't allow anybody to deceive you. Every young man and now you want me, I don't for a more big pair of wine and money now down. have been prophesied and written so that we develop our own convictions based on the truth. Who opposes and exalts himself so proudly and insolently against, against and over all oh, that is called God or oh, that is worship even to his, to his actually taking his seat in the temple of God proclaiming that he himself is God. 
Nia or sorry tell no pigeon also a wow ma so mu e tia eye nia ye friend nya kupon yina and then nia yesum e po eye nia ma se or fa e ja nya kupa so de mwe ja na o pelmu katse no se o ye e wade. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shall we continue? Yes, to us. Do you not recollect that when I was still with you, I told you these things? So, monk, I said, Brana, me no more a war, no, me casa and semi etrem, san yemo etrem. You see, all these who preached, they kept on warning the church. Warning because this is uh, things that are going to happen. They're going to happen. And kept on warning the church. Get ready, get ready. So once such things begin to show up, you can tell that this is it. So we get ourselves ready. Now listen to me. What of it say? Bible say by their fruits you know them. Stress some catra. By their fruit, you will know them. The early gospel preachers, look so Christ like, and their message was the message of Christ. But you look at their lives alone, it will change you. When you hear the message, it is double dose. Who on say was a Christo? Na asamna wa de bani su a Christo. E ti po asamna na se wo pie keka weni abo wo huano. Who say asempa no? E ye Christo asamno e na walka. Christ revealed in their lives. Christ, Christ revealed in their message. What done when you are brought home? Can I tell you something? The end time church. The building has replaced the Christ. Oh, that's my church. He's referring to a building. Because oh, my sorry, nia. Eh, yeah, yeah. People they be a yeah, yeah, boho. Eh, yeah, sorry, dino. If we come to the place where people come into our midst and experience Christ for themselves, just by observing and hearing and looking at the lifestyle of the people, the way they relate, the way they function, the way they, you know, that is what it's supposed to be. We're not here for ourselves. And yeah, sorry, a dino, a yeah, no more, yeah, yeah, why should it be that you pray somebody is a Christian since you're employing him? He gets in there and you are embarrassed at the end of the day because you can't tell the difference. It's worse than a non believer. Why should I be? I then say, Bassa, I say, Obey a Jubawa for a Juman, so your Christian is a fan, and said for a Bacon, who are called Goo, and you must cry. Where did we learn that? And he funny, and the person has been in church all his life. 
so ne kwana nip ano ewa sorry Let's be careful. Adofo. Mummy and Yashi, yes, we are. And Yashi, yes. Reduce message to Titan offering and building projects and this and that and that and that and that and that and that. Please. Please. Yes, yes. Sorry, sir. Baba, do say. Eh, yes, he can. So do I for a boy. Yes, he die. Yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, way. Eh, yeah, do me. Dien kwa. Yeah, did die. Yeah, yeah, be you. Please. Please. We must know who we are. We can't miss out on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double standards. It's not. It's not our calling. It's on our calling. Double tongue. It's on our calling. And yeah, you're afraid. Time is short. The time is short. Time is short. Time is short. Listen, beloved. What of it here? In all that we do, Christ must be glorified. Christ must be seen. Christ must be manifest. Christ must be glorified. Christ must be exalted. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You go to nations, you find churches in every corner. People praying in tongues, doing this, that, 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 that. And yet, evil multiplies in such a way. Right in the church, the evil that multiplies. The simple thing I want to tell everyone hearing me today. So, if it's Christ you've come to, then go all out. Go all out. Let him change you to make you like himself. Stop deceiving yourself. Let him change you. Let him touch you. That is true Christianity. If you say we should be careful, then every one of us should be careful, right? Yeah. The season we, there, are, there are terrible times that we live in, and we ought to be, should be careful. But we all should be careful. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I tell you something? 
These messages are not being preached anymore in our churches. It doesn't bring money. It doesn't bring people to church. So the, it, it, it didn't come from Christ. That's what they want to tell us. So we are wiser than a Christ who preached this. <laughs> but every one of us let's begin to see God God change me, help me I want to be like you that's my primary goal in this life I want to be like you Make me like yourself. Let this be our prayer. And stop the give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Say, make 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 me. me. Make me. Make me. Say, me. The prodigal son began with give me my portion. When he, when he came back to his father, he said, make me. Make me. When you begin to pray, make me, you are getting wiser. You understand the essence of Christianity. Is that okay? Yes. May the Lord make us. Make us. Make us. Many are waiting to come to Christ, but they will come to Christ through your life. Will your life attract them to Christ? Will they see Christ in you to want to follow you to Christ? Now, remember, Christ was our name. We are brought born so. We are brought born here. Christ was set so. I don't know what that. I know so. A bit too many. I don't want to back this to change. Will it attract them? Will your life bring them to Christ? No, we are brought born. And casa, and for one, and brought this to change. Look, every one of you sitting here. We be out here. The assignments given to all of you, and all the assignments have its commensurate crowns and, and rewards waiting for you in heaven. Would you be sincere? Will you be sincere to live accurately and walk the whole journey to the end of the journey? Oh, God, help us. 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 This is what we must all be looking for. This is what should motivate us. We want to serve God with all our hearts. To give an account before God. That you gave me all this opportunity. See all the people I've brought unto you. See how I've matured them. See how I've invested in these lives. I live my life for them. And the whole of the Godhead will say, You have done well. Nanya me basakro, nyamit sinu nina bo makase mo akwapa 
Why you have done well. Why you are dear. You have done well. Why you are dear. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you overseer over many things. I commit many things to you. It's your family. May the Lord help us. Are you ready to decide? Are you ready to decide? Why a crowd? I want you, I want you to commit yourself to God tonight. And I do. Everything you had, I want you to pray to God. God help me. Father, my time is short. I don't really have time. And in the season in which I live, I don't want to be a casualty. I don't want to be a casualty. Sh shall we pray? Shall we pray? Just commit your heart into God's hands. Ask the Lord to help you. Anything in your life that does not glorify him. The cares of this life, the deceitful of our riches. And the many things entering in is choking the word. Today you want to free yourself from these things. Lord, today I, I rededicate myself to you. I give you my all. I give you my all, Lord. I give you my all, Father. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me retrace my steps, Lord. I want to spend my life pleasing you and you alone. Jesus name. I will yes Jesus name. I will yes to Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Help me, Father. Thank you. 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 That my love doesn't get cold, that I don't fall away, but I'll be steadfast in my walk with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That I will not live for myself, live unto myself, live selfishly, and live just to please myself for my own selfish reasons. Thank you, Lord. 
Senia a betty and for so be bremi kuto enti. Help me, Lord. I read the In Jesus' name. I will yes to them. Thank you. Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up your people before your throne of grace. You've purchased every one of them with your blood. I pray that every one of them will embrace everything that you've invested in their lives. Will embrace the truth. Will embrace everything you stand for. And make you the center of their very being. The center of their very existence. The center of their very purpose for which they live. Order that their steps are right, Lord. Help every one of them. May your glory be revealed in every one of these. Redirect their hearts towards you. Redirect their hearts towards purpose. As they seek to do your will and your will alone. May your name be glorified in these lives. May these lives, oh Lord, retrace their steps to where they are supposed to be. In the center of your will and plan and purpose for their lives. That they will live lives that will be pleasing unto you. And in everything, oh Lord, your name will be glorified in these lives. I worship you and I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen and amen.